so what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful and if this is your first time seeing my channel do me a favor click the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together so guys on this lovely day here in shanghai i decided to do a day in a live video because i realized that i've been running this channel for well over two years now and i've never done something like that so i wanted to bring you a typical day and the things that I'll do on a typical day in Shanghai. So come with me, let's go. What I wanna do is to take you on a ride to show you the things that I've planned to do for today basically to take you along on this uh, journey as I go through the day so I have three major things planned out right now I am going to meet a friend uh, we have some business to discuss and then after that I'm gonna head to Costco because I need to buy a few things for the house and then when time allows the third thing i'll do today is to go to the uh, the honda showroom exactly where i got my motorcycle because uh, i've been wanting to know if they have the transalp on display in the showroom i don't know if it's arrived in china yet i know people have seen uh there are many videos already online with people riding it and test riding it and all that but I want to go and see with my own eyes. So turning left here takes us to some part of the university town and uh, my friend's office is right in the university area so from here on you're gonna see a lot more people it brings back memories to my school days it's 11 50 a.m i'm sure lectures are done or almost done by this time and students are going to find something to eat so this is kind of like a commercial street in the university town and my friend's office is right at the end of this road so I'm just gonna follow this traffic no rush and then I uh, go have the meeting with my friend and once I'm done it's on the way to Costco Yeah, so my meeting is, is done now and I'm just heading out I'm going to try to reach Costco uh, to pick up one or two things so I'm just exiting the university town area to see some other uh, student housing looks like a really serene environment in which to study the way this place is set up that's what's up bikes too yeah the main entrance to one of the universities um, lecture halls something like looks kind of like a great hall of a university can't tell for sure Those 
who know Shanghai, the Happy Valley Amusement Park is on my right. So that whole area is Happy Valley. I'm sure it's going to be packed this summer, this spring and summer, after the abolition of the um, zero COVID policy. It's just start getting busy soon. guys so I'm getting close to Costco I have the Shanghai Singapore International School right here and there are a couple of international schools around here as well but I'm heading to Costco Grabbing the things that I needed in Costco, it was time to leave and head out to the Honda showroom. Yeah, I need to set my GPS now to the Honda Goldwyn. Where is it? All right. So I use AMAP. AMAP is a local Chinese GPS um, software app, actually, app rather. It's a very, very good app. They have Baidu maps and A maps. I kind of prefer A maps because Baidu just has too much information. But A Max is A, A map is kind of straightforward. And even though I don't write Chinese, I'm just gonna try to type it. And um, whatever comes up, I, I know how to get, I know my way around in, in China now. So uh, whatever comes up, so I'll just type in English, dream, no, rather Honda Dream Wing is the only Honda Dream Wing showroom in Shanghai. So, uh, let's see. Honda Dream Wing must be that one. Seven point. Yeah, that's it. So it also shows you. A picture of uh, the place where you're going so yeah that's the place I know this place for sure and then just make sure my GPS is on and then navigate and as you may know it's not all roads that motorcycles can take in, in, in Shanghai so the number plate that I have allows me on certain roads but what you do is you input your uh, motorcycle number plate in the, in the map saved on the app so whenever you navigate using the motorcycle route it will automatically take you on the roads that your number plate is allowed so for example this is for cars that is for public transport that's for the bus bicycle if you're riding a bicycle if you're walking um, some other public service and you have rented electric cars you have the airplane which is uh, uh, I have the subway. There's no subway close to this place. You have the train. You have trucks, and then you have the motorcycles. So, well, my helmet, my my glove just dropped. I'll pick it up. So, if you can see, my motorcycle number is right here, and at this point, it's telling me that there are some routes I can't take. That's why it's highlighted in red. But if as soon as I I navigate, it's going to take me on the roads that. Uh, I can I can take 
I think I need to go back, yes. Alright, it's telling me 26, um, 26 minutes, 8.4 kilometers. And you can see motorcycle. So when I click motorcycle, consent, and that's it. go the other way going the wrong way Never been to Costco at this time of the day on a Wednesday 4 p.m. I never thought there would be this much traffic here. I thought the traffic will start much later in the evening. Uh, yeah, so this is this is new new for new for me. I think I might have to so let me just say that I really enjoy using the A map. Uh, my the screen might be flickering uh, maybe due to camera settings but it's not flickering at all at all on the phone so I like using a map because it's very very clear and very detailed as you can see in their shot it even gives you a layout of the exact plan of the road around where you are and it tells you which lanes to take at the moment i want me to take any of those two white lanes and it tells me with the yellow arrows exactly which uh which road i should take once i i cross the intersection so it's really really cool although i don't read chinese characters it's still very very easy for me to use because i've been using it for a while and uh you all you the good thing is you can type the address in english characters and it'll pick the address for you in chinese and give you several suggestions and sometimes i do know the approximate uh, kilometers that i'm going to so i use that sometimes and other times i just uh, most of the time the first address that populates is the one that is the right one for you so yeah um, i really really enjoy using it and it's it's uh it makes driving around shanghai or the whole of china so easy the road infrastructure in, in china is just insane so many elevated roads so many intersections everywhere you go so without the gps it's it might be confusing driving around because there are so many so many turns so many elevator roads it gets really confusing and if you want to be reading the road signs all the time it's going to be really tiring to drive around but with a gps you don't really have to read the signs you just follow where the map asks you to go so that's that's a that's a cool thing i'm really happy that this map is available otherwise navigating shanghai would be a very very difficult task yeah guys so i've just arrived at honda dream wing the official big cc honda motorcycle uh, dealership here in shanghai and yeah once you get here you know the main business yeah so let's take a look around i see right there honda for you guys um the reason why i came here i'm not seeing it but let's go in there and see what they have uh, on display Honda dream wing that is a dream one day I'll pick up one of these bikes fingers crossed so when I enter this Honda showroom greeting me were these beautiful e-bikes that were on display apparently Honda makes electric bi electric bikes now and there are a lot of them zooming around all over the place in China they are very very convenient to use going around the block, going grocery shopping, or even commuting to work for short distances, it's really great. So I was really excited to see that Honda had introduced uh, e-bikes to their lineup, and I spent quite a bit of time just looking at them, and they looked really cool. And I really like this zoomer in your shot, the red one. 
it seems to have a lot of power and this other one that really looks like a Honda Cub motorcycle really beautiful design touch to Honda e-bikes kudos to Honda for this so I was a little bit disappointed for the reason I went there I went there purposely to see if they have the Trans Alp on display and unfortunately they didn't have it because it's not in China yet so with disappointment I decided to console myself taking a look at the big boys the Africa twin and his little brothers and I must say that this CBR 500 and 650R are really growing on me I'm not really a sport bike person but over time I'm starting to like how they look Right, guys so it's 5 38 p.m it's starting to get dark now and uh, I've come to the end